Mabuhai Kamusta Kiel, and welcome to part 2 of my Cactus and Succulent update for January 2020. Here we've got a nice uh, spiny Neopateria Pygmaea there, Echinopsis, the name I can never pronounce on that one, the Serious Wildcrest, this Echolated Psychorabusia, unfortunately I'll never grow out of this but because it's one that produces offsets I'll be able to take some off it in the future and hopefully have a normal looking plant. Nice big Astrophyta Mysterious, my all time favourite plants. Hope they bloom again this year. This one hasn't bloomed for me yet, or the one on the right, Tucana Malisonorium. Copiapoa cinerea hybrid, featured in a spotlight video that Alex Conley narrated for me recently. A the Copiapoa there, Calderana, Kynocerius pulchellus. I did actually find a few spider mites on this, and I soon took care of those though. Some isopropyl alcohol, Poa heseltoniana. It's quite a fast grower, this one, for a Copiapoa. Another nice Matukana there. Neopateria clavata. Lethal spines on that one. Some Theracactus, two varieties of 40. The young Gracilis coloratus. And Theracactus macrodiscus. Variety multiflorus, that one. The uh, Echinopsis Hybrid, Cheam Cream. Another hairy Neopateria. Sorry for the shaky camera. Here we've got a couple of Rebuchas here. These are yet to flower for me, these ones. Another Neopateria. Gymnocalisium Manovici. Got a little offset forming on it. Really nice gymno this one. Damsei variety tundulum. Forbia obesa. Let me come on to some that came from Helios Cacti on eBay. Mostly area size for these ones. Doing really well these are. Absolute favourite, Copiapoa cinerea. And cinerea albispina. Some more euphorbia here, euphorbia swedoglobosa. Lots of offsets forming on that one. To the right of that, we've got euphorbia horrida. It's a variegated Canthocereus tetragonus, or what we call fairy castle cactus. The Puntia cantorae. Chiveria agavoides, which could benefit from more light really. These are going to definitely be going out in the greenhouse in the springtime. And this one, um, Perpsorum hybrid, will do a lot better being in a nice hot sunny greenhouse. Now, Orthia tenua alba has nice thick uh, white tubercles on it. Several offsets forming on that one as well. Another one here with slightly thinner banding on it. Lots of offsets forming on this one. Nisio stapelliformis. Growing really well, that one is. Wartia coactata. A couple of offsets on that one as well. These are ones that got uh, repotted recently into my new mix and they've just loved being put into that. So, Euphorbia oregonosa. Some more jades. I think I've got a few too many jade plants. Another Slumbergera. My big main Aristatello Aristata. That recently got repotted as well, and that's doing a lot better. And some uh, little offsets there that came off it. And my big Euphorbia Lactea. Hasn't actually put out as much growth that it did um, year before last, but this is due for a repot this year. That's this section covered and we'll go on to the next.
No, we can't forget these ones. Got Lofafora Williamsi. It's a Neopateria that's got the wrong label on it. That has not sure what this one is, but it's not not Odori. So could be a Poa Hypogea lizard skin. More from Helios Cacti. It's an area of size. That area of size there. Copiapoa tenuissima. This is the monstrous form as well. Lots of little offsets growing on it. Epithelantha micromerus. Nice red variegated Gymnocolisium. Gymnocolisium redrichai agua dulce. Of uh, Lofora Williamsi. This is Hawthia Silver Swirl. This is going to feature in an upcoming video very soon. Variegated Echinopsis subdenudata. A little Obregonia denegrio. Gorgeous variegated Astrophyte Mysterious. Orthia Pumilla Emperor. Doing a lot better that one is now as well. Again, the label on this one, I'm not sure if that is correct or not. It's definitely a Gastrallo. Nice agave there, variegated one as well. Variegated Gasteria. Orthia Pygmaea, Mutant Sea or Mutant Ice Sea. This Worthy is getting a flower spike come up on it as well. Worthia Rackidea Citata. Cupri Big Black. And the Emerald Cloud. Gorgeous one that is. Carpus Fisherata CV Godzilla. Another variety of Cupri there. This is the one they call Love Hearts. Yeah, this one's another unknown, not sure what this one is, so again if you do know, please let me know in the comments. Hatiora or Dancing Bones. This hawk is looking a little bit better now. It's done a lot of root growing recently because it didn't have any when I got it. So same with this one as well. That's uh, Hylobagensis. My Slumbergera that I recently picked up. That recently flowered as well. And a successful pollination on it as well. It's got a nice big juicy seed pod forming on it. That'll be the first time for me growing these from seed. Variegated Echinopsis. And this Euphorbia, another variegated one. Again, with the name I can't pronounce, if you can see that label alright there. It's grown a little bit this one, but that's quite a slow grow of that one. Orthia Pamilla Angel's Tears. Or Tears of Angels. That's a gorgeous horse here, this one, Tsukikagi. Euphorbia or Monodinium, variegated as well. Got three little offsets coming up on it that has. Caroluma Hesperidium. It's a weird texture to it, this plant almost feels like it's made out of rubber. My nice uh, Horthia Pygmaea. Aloe Aranacea, I absolutely love this aloe. Difficult one to find this is as well. It's an unknown Neopateria or area size. Again, if you know what that could possibly be, let me know. Gymnocolisium there. Warthia Meganii Aurora. Wernia, Sabrina, Variegata. Nice 
a little Fralia cataphracta. Another Cobiaboa hypogea lizard skin. And another hypogea. Some little offsets on that one as well. This is another unknown aloe. Or the uh, Yuki Kashiki. Again, another unknown horse here, that one. And the last two lithops that I've got left, I did actually lose another one a few weeks back. Warthia Kupri, big black. And some more gorgeous uh, variegated Warthia Tenuara. These are white variegated ones as well. Aloe Snowstorm, this came from Anna as well, Cactus Caffeine. Doing really well that is. Really nice area of size that one, Nabina. My little um, Dioscorea Elephantipes seedlings. Doing well, lots of new leaves coming up on those as well. Just got a little uh, Delosperma cutting in there. And some more here from Helios Cacti on eBay. Again, mostly area of size these are. And all these ones will be going out into the greenhouse come springtime as well. I do like a lot of sunlight these do. Another little cutting of um, Terra Cactus tuberosus there. More area size. We've got some more Warthia here, Magnifica. Then this one is uh, unknown. This could benefit from more light. It is a little bit stretched. This one is, as you can see. <laughs> That's one Warthia that does like a little bit more sunlight. That one. Okay, we've got another unknown here, let's get the flower spike on it as well. With the Ahakuma. Another nice limifolia there. And Venosa brighty tesselata. Some Delosperma echinatum. Warthia Tergida, lots of offsets forming on that one as well. And Warthia Cooperi. Variegated uh, Heidelbergensis. This is another unknown Warthia, this one, not sure what this one is. Another nice Cooperi there. This is yet another unknown Warthia. So again, if you know what any of these ones might be with the, without the labels, let me know. These are gorgeous variegated limifolias. Done so well, these have. Another Warthia Attenuata Enon. Radula White Star. Heavily variegated limifolia, that one. And then this one, as you can see in the bottom left of the pot there, there is actually a little pup coming up, which I'm really happy about. Gastorallo Flow. Steery little water. You know, I absolutely love the markings on the leaves on these. Dwarthia retusa gigantea. Then we go 
come on to my little um, Astrophyte Mysterious seedlings. Yeah, these will be coming up to two years old. These are going to get a repot in the spring as well. This is a variegated aloe black gem. It's Gaster aloe de dieu. Lots of offsets on that as well. Hello Pepe, this did actually get a flower spike on it, but it dried up, unfortunately. Another nice uh, Orthia limifolia. Orthia con colour, this is one uh, where the central leaves rotted away. But since it's done that, it's pushing out a lot of pups from the base, as you can see. This is Orthia. Then you are a Cape Town. This is Euphorbia lactea cristata. Not sure what the Euphorbia rootstock is on that though. Still undecided if I'm going to degraft this or not. I might leave it as it is. Another gorgeous looking horse here, that one that's uh, spider white. Variegated Pamela. And this is another one that's producing quite a few offsets as well. There's five on here altogether. Quite slow growers though, it'll be a while before I propagate these. Another Pumilla Royal Albert. And that's got uh, three or four offsets forming on it as well. Sense of area cylindrica. My dwarf uh, sense of area. Just show you here as well, that's got um, offset on it as well. Yeah, and this guy, I'm not sure if this is dead or not, but I did repot this uh, today actually, and all the roots were dried up on it, but it did have what looked like new roots forming, so there's still hope for it as yet. Trouble with these, you never know if they're dead, they just look like a, a piece of wood in a pot. We've got some little seedlings here, this is um, Libivia, Arachnocantha, some tiny little Echinopsis Oxygona. I believe that's Aloe Juvena, that one. A Parodia Magnifica. Stapelia and Sinocrasula in there. Some little Rebutia. Another Horthia Alba. Tiny little Astrophyte Mysterious. A Corifantha. And a Matucana Palsy. And I've got another Euphorbia oregonosa here. So yeah, that's uh, that's all that section done. I'll just show you the seedlings quick as well. I won't show you the ones in the bags, so you can't really see them too good in there because there's a lot of condensation on them. So yeah, we've got some little Fralias here, Phaeodisca and Castanea. Super photos. Some Alpha Fora Williamsi Texensis, those ones. Ariocarpus, and tiny little Gymnocalisium Fredericii eyes. Some Hawthia, right no idea. These will get uh, repotted soon as well. Some Rebutia Hoffmani that came from my own plant. And finally some more Areocarpus retusus. So yeah, that's the complete collection update for January 2020. The next one probably won't be until March, April time when they start getting put out into the greenhouse again. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. Salam at Port Baalam. Bye for now.
Thank you.